Today we're gonna to set up a payment button like this that when clicked, a Lightbox payment screen opens up like this. We're gonna do all of this with WordPress, Stripe, and a free plugin. All right, so you're gonna need a WordPress website, a Stripe merchant account, which is free to set up, and a free plugin, which I'll show you how to download in just a second. So to get started, go ahead and log into your Stripe dashboard. And this is the new 2017 dashboard, which has been recently redesigned and updated. So you'll just come down to the API link over here on the left-hand side in the menu. And we're gonna use the test and the live secret keys to plug into the WordPress plugin that I'll show you how to download in just a second. So this is a really simple process and there's not much customization that you need to do in order to make this uh, payment button active on your website. So I'll take you through the whole process. Again, you just need to log into your Stripe account, WordPress, and download the plugin. So let's come into our WordPress dashboard and come over to the plugins tab and click on add new. Come over and search for uh, Stripe payment plugin. And it'll return a bunch of results. Some of them are WooCommerce integrations, which I've covered in some of my other videos. But the one that we're going to look at right here is this one. And I've already installed it on my domain. So the active button is grayed out because it's installed already. But if, for example, a plugin is not installed yet, it'll give you this option to install. And then it'll immediately turn to active and you can click on activate in order to, to make it live. Then what you'll do is come over to the settings tab, click on it and come down to accept Stripe payments. And it will load up this page here. And all of this has auto populated. I, I don't think that I've changed any of these links and everything is just pre-filled in here. So what all we need to do is load the Stripe publishable key and the secret key and then we can go ahead and configure the plugin and run a quick test before we check this live mode button, which is all you need to do in order to make the transaction live. So we're gonna come over to our Stripe dashboard and this is the new 2017 interface. So just come over to the API tab and we're gonna use the test secret key and the live secret keys here in just a second. But first we'll start with the test secret key and we're just gonna copy Okay, and paste it in the secret key box. Come back over again and grab the publishable key and put that right there. Okay, be sure to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click save changes. Then we can come into either a page or a post and I've already set up a post uh, for this demonstration. It does not make any difference because you're gonna have the visual and the text editor on either the page or the post options in your WordPress dashboard. So you wanna check on the text tab and this is the code that you're simply gonna paste into the dashboard, okay? And this is linked in the description so you can get this exact code. And when you save this page and you click preview, this is what the button is gonna look like. Okay, so if you click on pay now, it opens this light box. It has a graphic image of the logo. It has the name of the product right there. And you can fill this out. So it's a cool looking payment option. And here's how you modify it if you wanna change the dollar amount. We'll come back into the page editor and you'll notice a couple of things that are in quotation marks. If you wanna change the product name here, just type in the product name. If you wanna change the dollar amount, you'll do that right here. And you can even change the button text if you wanna override the global default button text. You can, you can type in whatever you want. So let's just put $1 to match uh, the price that, that we're changing it to. And then the item logo is a logo link that's uploaded to my WordPress site here. So it's best to use a really small icon. The icon here is uh, 32 by 32 pixels. So it's essentially a favicon. Uh, and that's just so that it fits in the circle and it's not a you know really huge Im image link. So you wanna make sure that it fits properly. So that's all you need to do. So if I come up again and I click save and preview, 
And now you can see that the button says pay $1 now. And if I click on it, it has $1 on the button. Okay, so that's how you change the product name and the dollar amount. You can add as many of these buttons as you would like. So again, if you come back over here, if I just were to copy and um, paste this and paste it again. So I have three buttons. Let's make each of these a different dollar amount so we can differentiate. One's going to be five. One's going to be... 10 okay and i'll just i'll change the dollar amounts to match again we'll save and when i preview you can see that all these buttons are are listed here so now i got three buttons each with a different dollar amount that if i click on it it's got the corresponding dollar amount so i can add different text and you can obviously add images and customize this however you would like but that's how easy it is and all of this is being pulled from the plugin that's connected to your Stripe account. Okay, so to show you how this payment works, let's just click on the $5 payment and we'll type in an, uh, in an address, email address, and the test card number, since this is in a testing environment, is actually listed right on the Stripe website right here. And you can use one of Stripe's testing cards. So the 4242 number, that's where this number is coming from. So here's the product number for $5, pay now. And this is again in the testing environment. So we just click pay now, gives them a check mark and it redirects them to the thank you page right here. Gives them the transaction ID number and everything. So that's all built in. You don't need to configure anything on this other than just installing that plugin and going through the configuration that we just talked about. Once that payment is made, you can come down here and come to Stripe orders and click on it. And then you can see all of those orders coming through. So it'll be the product name. These are just general labels that I've given it. Uh, but you can see the $10 transaction. I did a couple of tests here. Uh, this one published just a minute ago for $10, and that's the sale. So it's basic reporting, but it does show up. It gives you that um, ability to look at all the sales that you've made right there. And again, it's all from this little buy now button that you install from the plugin and the short code. So that's how you use this little plugin to set up and, and integrate the buy now buttons on your website. Again, you can put this anywhere that you want. So if you want to move it around on the page, put it up at the top or in a sidebar, uh, you can do that. It's very easy because the, the widgets and the text editors within WordPress make that possible to just plug the short code right into the editors. So if you're new to my channel, be sure to like this video and maybe share it with a friend. If you want to learn more about payment processing and and uh, workflows that incorporate buy now buttons and merchant account uh, systems and collecting payments online in general, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I publish weekly tutorial style and how to videos like this that are on the topics of payment processing and merchant accounts and payment processing software tools and integrations that use plugins and software tools like this. And also I talk about workflows that tie them all together. So until next time, I'm Brian Manning and I'll talk to you soon.